to LA. This is my first time back since living here in 2020. Super nice in LA. The sun is so golden. But I'm here for six days. Sean and I were going to Rolling Loud. Kanye West is tonight. And I just got this rental car. Yo, that shirt's pretty sick. Oh, thanks. Check out the back. There's also some hoodies that I'll show you later. Realthors.com. LA, a company called Wander reached out to me and they offered a place for me to stay. I'm going to be here for the next three nights and we're about to check in. Wow, that's crazy. Thanks, Wander. Thank you, Wander. Oh, that's so nice. Bathroom number one. Thank you, Wander. We made out of group chat. We made out of group chat. I only travel when Sean wants to travel with me. What is your What's your uh, Instagram? Proof. Testing over. Today we're going to be skipping Rolling Loud Day 2 and it said we're going to be doing some LA stuff because Rolling Loud is four days. It's like Kanye, Nicki, Post Malone, and uh, we don't really want to go all four days. So instead, we're gonna have a full day out in the city. But before we go, this is definitely the most luxurious place that I've ever stayed in. Comes with an LG monitor, a standing desk. So if you want to work while you're here. Standing now. Whoa. Wander told me to tell you guys that if you sign up and create an account with my link, wander.com slash jedcal, you'll enter a giveaway for a two night stay. The winner is going to be announced on March 31. So sign up. Thanks again, Wander. We love it. Koufax. This is my favorite place for breakfast burritos, and it's also my favorite ice latte. Oh, that's all right. They make their own vanilla syrup. I think that's why it tastes so good. Oh, they do. It tastes oh, that's cool. Everyone is vlogging today. Vlogging. Vlogging. We're here in Third Street Promenade here in Santa Monica. And Nina's here. Hi. She was I'm in Korea Atlanta. with us. Is this your water? Oh, yeah. Wait, no, it's not. I finished my water. <laughs> All right, go. Honestly, the weather in LA is so perfect, but it's like a little too perfect. I lived here for two years and then New York for three years. And I think I way prefer living in New York and then coming to LA to vacation. It just feels more vacation-y when I'm here. It's like so slow, I'm driving around. Versus when I lived in LA and I would vacation in New York, going to New York did not feel like vacation. That was like, all right, I'm here to work. I like living in New York and I love that I'm visiting LA right now. It feels really nice to be back. The end is near, brother. For those that play chess, I'm actually rated 1900 in tournaments, FIDE rating. This is my past life in high school. But ever since I got to college, no more chess. Boom. Good game. You did good. Really? You're actually way better than I thought you'd be. So cold. Thanks, man. Excited about this one. This is the Rule of Thirds hoodie. It's a heavyweight, 100% cotton. A lot of people always ask me like, Jed, where do you shop? Where do you get your style inspiration? When I wanted to... <laughs> What are you laughing about? Where are you going with that? There's a, there's a reason. There are so many hoodies that I sampled that were like a lot cheaper, but then the material is just not something I would really wear. I came across this hoodie. It's heavyweight and it's so comfortable. It's genuinely like my favorite hoodie. And I knew despite it being more expensive that this is what I would want to sell. I wear size XL, but it is pretty oversized. So I honestly could wear a size large. What do you think? Here, feel it. What material is this? It's 100% cotton. I thought it was boyfriend material. What the? <laughs> oh, it's 34, walk through, man, we had a blit. Ay, had so many bottles, gave ugly girl a sip. Out the window of the bands, so we get seen in the rain. Everybody, stand in the sun here. Checking out of this Wander house. Thank you, Wander. Thank you, Thank Wander. You, Wander. <laughs> um, would you guys be cold today? Wait, one sec. I have something for you. <laughs> You get one rule of thirds hoodie for the each of you. 
We're going to be spending the day out getting some breakfast, some brunch here in Hollywood. The nice. LA Marathon is going on right now, so there were a ton of detours. And we found a place in Hollywood near my friend. <laughs> I want to cheers my... Subscribe to my channel if you want some university content. Subscribe to my channel instead. Shout out to... Fendi necklace. I got this camera recently. It's the Sony A7C2. I looked it up and this is a really good camera for photography apparently. It has like 33 megapixels. This camera is the FX3, which is a great cinema camera, but the photos are only like 12 megapixels. I've been really enjoying getting back into photography. Really busy day today. Starting the day with a podcast with Carrot, which is like the credit card company. They're the company that put me on a Times Square billboard. This is one of my first podcasts I'm doing. It's like 11 a.m. So let's start the day. If you were to meet Jed from four or five, six years ago, yeah. college era <laughs> Jed, what do you think he'd think of you now? Do you think he'd get along and want to be friends? In college, I was doing a lot of video making, but not YouTube blogging. I didn't really get into that, but I was doing a lot of like cinematography and the idea of doing like full-time creative work would have been like a crazy dream because at the time I was studying to be a software engineer. So that it wasn't even the picture just doing anything that's creative and not coding. Honestly, I think you're one of those very rare unicorns that can both be a software engineer and a YouTuber. Like those are like really separate parts of your brain mm -hmm. to be able to code something yeah. and do something very cinematic. Why computer science? I think in high school, I watched the movie, The Social Network. Yeah. I was also, I grew up playing chess a lot. Yeah, aren't you like a 1900 chess rating or something yeah, so absurd? In Guam, I was in the like, Guam chess national team. My weeks were just like studying chess and like playing chess tournaments. Um, and I, I found that like when I did like some coding the summer before college, it was like wiring my brain in the same way. Wow. Like the logic was, I, I found it quite similar. It made me really like computer science, like right off the get go. Wait, what you're wearing right now, this is actually your own line of clothing. Oh, nice. Rule yes, it of is. thirds. This is the art of balance. What does rule of thirds mean? Have you heard of the term rule of thirds before? Vaguely, but I don't know what it means. I guess it's in any type of art but just in terms of like composition, visual balance, artists tend to put the subject, if there's a grid, you wanna put your subject in one of the lines where they intersect. So it's rooted in photography, cinematography, which is what, it was why I went in video. Yeah, it was your initial creative outlet. Right. My boy. Great talking to you. I booked a photo studio. I hired a photographer, some models. My first time doing any type of photo shoot like this. I got uh, 15 hoodies, 15 shirts. Photographer Omar, my college best friend Dylan, moral support. Wait, this is so funny. <laughs> oh, version one. <laughs> I was gonna launch in 2023. Dylan has the only copy. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> 